everyone. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my favorite drugstore lip products, which includes lipsticks and lip liners today. Please let me know what your favorites are in the comments below and subscribe if you want to see more from me. But let's just get on to the lipsticks. So the first ones that I wanted to talk about are some of my absolute favorites. You've probably heard me talk about them before. And these are the Maybelline Color Drama Lip Pencils. They're like a chubby pen kind of pencil thing that you sharpen and I just have two shades here even though I own them all but I didn't want to kind of ramble for ages. These are the shades Fab Orange and Nude or Nudist. Nude Perfection actually. They're two of my favorites but I recommend almost every single color. They're amazing. These are really, really highly saturated lipsticks. The color payoff is incredible. They're also really moisturizing on the lips, so they feel really comfortable, but they don't slip and slide too much. The color kind of stays quite nicely. I will just swatch these two here on my hand for you. That is Fab Orange, and this is Nude Perfection. Fab Orange is very similar to Morange by MAC, and Nude Perfection is very similar to something like Charlotte Tilbury, um, Penelope Pink, or maybe Mac Soar, or no, Mac Boldly Bear, something like that. For ages, it was one of the only nudes that I wore. I just threw it in my handbag all the time, and it's such a go-to for me. I absolutely love them. So I'm recommending that whole line of lipsticks. I absolutely love them. The next product I absolutely love is the Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvets. I only have two colors, but I love them both, so I guess I do recommend them as a range. I've heard there are one or two colors that don't pay off quite as well, so do your research on that if you're gonna pick any up, but I just love this formula. So this is like a liquid lipstick formula, but it's definitely more velvety than creamy, so it feels matte between your lips, but also you can still move your lips and there's still like that creaminess there. It's so weird. It's a really nice hybrid between a matte and a creamy lipstick. It doesn't feel too drying. It doesn't feel like uncomfortable on the lips like a lot of really matte products do. And I think this is a great shade. This is the shade number one, Person Ne Rouge. I really, really like it. This is one of my go-to reds out of my entire collection because it just stays so well on my lips and you can top it up with another layer without it going chunky or like weird on your lips. So it's just a very standard red, nothing too special color wise, but formula is incredible. I absolutely love it. The next lipstick I have here is the Moisture Renew Lipstick by Rimmel, and this is the shade 720 Notting Hill Nude. I'm sure you've seen me talk about this in videos before, but there's a reason. It is just a really, really nice nude. So I will pop this here. It's very similar to Nude Perfection, um, just a bit lighter, a tiny bit pinker, and a lot glossier. So it's a very slippy, moisturizing lipstick. They are called the Moisture Renew Lipsticks. Oh, I just dug my finger into it, whoopsie. But yeah, I just really like this lipstick. I think the color is so great for a drugstore lipstick. Not that they're not normally great in the drugstore, but I just really, really like it. It's very comparable to a lot of my high-end lipsticks in color, and it feels really, really lovely on the lips and stays for quite a while as well. The only thing I would say is that it is a little bit like perfumed. It's kind of, um, it's got that old school smell to it, you know, that like old school lipstick smell. It doesn't really bother me. If it bothers you, maybe put like a fruity lip gloss over the top, but um, I think because it's such a nice color, it's worth it. Also from Rimmel, Rimmel do amazing lipsticks kind of like in general. This is the Kate lipstick in the shade number 10. I'm not necessarily just recommending this shade, I'm just recommending the Kate lipsticks in general from Rimmel. I think they are such an amazing range, like they really got the formula spot on. This one here is a matte pinky red, like look at that. That's incredible, it is such a beautiful autumn winter color. It looks insane with a smoky eye as well if you're going all out. And the color payoff is just intense, it is amazing and they feel great on the lips too. So I highly recommend the Rimmel Kate lipsticks. I know there's like a really famous color, I think it's called 107. Yeah, maybe it's so well or somebody that wears it, but anyway, I just, I know most beauty bloggers that I know love the Rimmel Kate lipsticks, so totally worth checking out. The next range of lipsticks I want to recommend are the L'Oreal Color Riche lipsticks. This is the number 378, which is a personal fave. This is just, 
a really gorgeous glossy pinky nude but I recommend the whole range there's a lot of shades in the range that you could match up to like a matte lipstick such as rebel there are a lot of nudes that you could match up to matte lipsticks as well I just think it's a really really good range there are a couple of misses I think there's like a shimmery orange which is dreadful but you'll know it if you see it. I just really like this lipstick range. I think it's got great color payoff, moisturizing on the lips. I feel like I'm repeating myself again and again, but they just all have very similar formulas. The only thing I will say about these is even more so than the Rimmel lipstick smelled, this one, it smells like old people. Like, that's such a weird thing to say. It smells like mature ladies perfume like very mature ladies perfume it's a very vintage smell like very old school makeup smell which isn't that nice i know a lot of bloggers that are turned off these lipsticks for that particular reason i feel like if l'oreal changed the scent it would be an absolute like 10 out of 10 range but that is the one downfall of them so if you're sensitive to smell stay away if you're not gorgeous lipsticks I also just wanted to mention three amazing lip liners that I found in the drugstore recently. I would compare these to things like MAC Boldly Bare, Soar, Whirl. They're really, really good pinky nude colors. They're just fab. I really like the formulas of all three. They're all very similar. Um, the first one is the Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in the shade 63 East End Snob. This is gorgeous. It's slightly more matte than the other two. It's just a really fab natural pink. You can see it there. It's very similar to MAC Soar in my opinion. Really, really nice. The other lip liner I have here is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 1000 Kisses Stay On Lip Contouring Pencil in the shade 49 Natural. This is very similar to MAC Boldly Bare. That's it there. These are the kind of things you need to swatch and like see up close. If I put them on my lips now, they'll all look the same, but when you see them in person, they look completely different. That's why I'm kind of comparing them to like a MAC color for you. This is very similar to Boldly Bear, which is also very similar to MAC Kinda Sexy. It's a very brown peach, whereas the previous one I showed you from Rimmel was very pink. This is more of a brown peach. Really nice for kind of just defining the lips and overdrawing them slightly. It looks gorgeous. I really, really like that one. And then I also have the L'Oreal Lip Liner Couture by Colorish in the shade 302 Bois de Rose. This is very similar to the Rimmel one, but this one is more pink. And actually the Rimmel one in comparison leans slightly more purpley pink, which is unusual. I would actually say that this one here is more of a dead ringer for sore. It's just got that kind of berry pink tone to it, whereas the other one is leaning much more pink, purple pink, yeah. So they're gorgeous. If you can check them out in store, do. I feel like the MAC lip liners and just high-end lipsticks in general are amazing. I love treating myself to them, but it's not necessary. You can get so many dupes in the drugstore. I will try and do another video like this again for you guys soon. So that's all I have for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more top favorite videos from me, and I'll talk to you again real soon.